Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, hello, my name's Kim. I'm a fashion stylist. And for those of you who do, welcome back. I'm so excited to see you guys. I hope that you've been enjoying the videos and you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Enjoy your coffee, your Chardonnay, your dirty martini, whatever you're doing, putting away laundry when you're watching this. Regardless of where you are right now, when I'm filming this, it is spring. We're heading into spring 2021 and your brain starts like thinking naturally Naturally, when you start to think about the beach or pool or going outside, maybe you need a bathing suit for something. And so naturally you start thinking about like, what are the styles that are in? What works for my body type? So today I'm going to go through the styles that are naturally flattering for your body type. So it doesn't matter what's actually trending. The most important thing is that the bathing suit works for you. And the key to a bathing suit working for you is all about balance. So body types, balance, are my specialty. So I'm going to get right into the video. I'm going to start with a few do's and don'ts for bathing suit shopping. Let's say you are right now starting to think about bathing suit shopping. And I know it's been a crazy year. Let's just be body positive. Let's love our bodies. They've got us through the year. They've been really good to us. So let's treat them kindly, be nice and give ourselves a little love and just try to enjoy bathing suit shopping. The first thing that I want you to do is if you can actually go into a mall or a bathing suit store, if you have that opportunity, go in and I want you to try on a bunch. So like literally, Get the girl at the store to help you be like, I need a new bathing suit. Here's my favorite colors. Here's what I know looks good on me. Here's what I really love to wear and have her go pull them all. Utilize them. They want to help you. They're there to do something. So ask them for their help and bring in like 14, 15, 20 suits. Bring them all into the dressing room and then just take your time and try them all on. Tip for this so that you don't feel rough. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna suggest shave your legs, shave your armpits, put on a little bit of cream so that when you're standing looking in the mirror, you're not like boof. I look horrendous. I don't want you to feel that way. I want you to kind of feel put together. So anyway, bring them all in, try them on. That is a do. This do also works for you if you are shopping online at home. First thing, make sure that all of the bathing suits can be returned. A lot of them will have tags and if you try them on, as long as you leave the tags on, they're fine. Read the fine print on that. But if you're gonna order, order a bunch and send them, ship them to your house. Take the time to try them on, same thing. It's really important to try on a whole bunch because as you start to do that, you start to really get a feel for what looks good on you. Another thing that I want you to do is before you actually start shopping online or in stores is actually Google your favorite type of swimsuit. So let's say you want a cutout bathing suit, type in street style. Street style is like my little stylist tip that it'll actually just bring up like kind of blogger images as opposed to just like shopping ones. So it'll give you an idea of how to style those suits. Bikini, red bikini, street style white cover up, street style. So start looking at images, get an idea of what, how you envision yourself, looking in those pieces, what colors you want, etc. Here are my don'ts before I get into body types. So stay tuned, we're gonna get into the good stuff. Do not buy a size bigger or smaller than you are. I've read a lot of websites, they're like, oh, make sure you buy a size smaller because it stretches in water. Um, don't do that. I'm gonna suggest that you don't do that. If you do that, Sometimes it might actually cut into you. You might be poofing out the sides. You could possibly muffin top in a bikini. That happens. Just don't do that. Try to really gauge. You can look online. You can measure yourself. You can do a fair estimate of what you actually think you would wear. And if you want to know a trick of something that I actually do, I actually tend for myself, my bikini bottoms, I actually try to buy a size up because I really hate it when they're cutting into my waist. I just feel really uncomfortable. They're never going to fall off unless you're buying like an extra large in your size small. Anyway, Anyway, that's something that I do. I'm not saying it works for you. It's just that something I know I like on my body type. I don't want like a grippy little bikini bottom. Anyway, so that is something I say. Do not, although I just told you that I do that, but I'm, I'm saying do not order a size smaller. I don't think that's a good plan. One more don't before we move into the body types. Do not shop for something that is trending right now if it does not suit your body type. So I'll give you an example. A while ago, all of those bikinis with all of the tiny straps that like went over the whole body, those were really trending, but that's not something that would typically look good on my body. I would feel uncomfortable, it would make me crazy. So that's something that I should not actually shop for. I'm an inverted triangle. I do not look good in like bra style bikinis. 
So if those are trending, that's great, but those aren't for me. That's something I typically stay away from. Okay, those are my do's and don'ts. Let's get right into body types. I'm gonna start with my lovely pears. You guys are so awesome. I always, when I do videos for apples, the pears are like, what about us? So anyway, pears, okay, here's the thing. Your body type typically is you carry more of your weight, you're more curvy on your bottom, you have a beautiful butt, you tend to have smaller shoulders. So for you, you really wanna accentuate everything up top. So if you think about a body shape in terms of like two triangles on top of each other, one is right side up and the other one is upside down, that is the perfect shape that you want to try and make for your body. So pairs, you want things that have like ruffled tops, maybe they have little cap sleeves, bright colors, polka dots, like that's a great thing for you. Pairs, another great option for you if you're into mixing and matching, a dark bottom is fantastic and keep all the color and the fun up here because everyone's checking out your fabulous top. Another thing for pairs, the bottom. Try to stay away from really heavy bottoms. So like a really thick waistband. You've kind of seen some of those bikinis. Those don't work for you because they're just drawing the eye down. And typically you want the eye to go up. So that is something to stay away from for you pairs. And also the boy shorts. Not good for the pairs. Stay away from those. You want to stick to like your best average cut bikini, whatever whatever cut that you like on the bottom, there's so many, and this is why I say you have to try them on. You wanna to stick to those and give yourself a lot of volume as much as you can on the top. Rectangles, I love you guys. You typically have the athletic body type. I love this body. Some of you maybe don't like your own body, I'm saying just give it a break. Give your body some love. You're tall, you're long, you're lean usually. You could be also short in a rectangle. So for you, you wanna add some movement. So you're gonna do the cute little bathing suits that have the ruffles on the top and on the bottom. I love those, lots of bright colors, polka dots, um, fantastic bathing suits for you are ones that have cutouts because it actually looks like there's some movement on your body. I love those. Another bathing suit that's fantastic for you that not all of us can wear that I really wish I could, I try to all the time, is the bandeau. That is a fantastic bathing suit top for you. It looks so cute. This is a great body shape. I think you need to embrace it, but try to give yourself some movement. Again, those are some great things to look out for for your new bikini. My beautiful apples, you guys carry a lot of your love around your tummy and that's okay. Let's just put on something that you're gonna feel fabulous in. Ruched bathing suits are fantastic. They hide any lumps and bumps. Something else that is fantastic is a wrap bathing suit. So it's kind of like the wrap dress. It has that effect. It looks like that, it crosses over, it's got a deep V, the color kind of cuts across. That's a great thing. Asymmetrical bathing suits, those are beautiful too. Draws the eyes away from just like being in one spot. It kind of takes you to different places. I love that. Another bathing suit that's fantastic for you, Apples, is the retro high-waisted. Those can be fantastic. It pulls right up to your belly button. And then get a top that's really fun and kind of adds some drama up top. That's fantastic. Again, go back to my dues. Try on many, as many as you possibly can, and you will find one that fits perfectly for you. And when you find that cut, remember it. And when you find the brand, if you really love it, you might want to order one in a few different colors. My inverted triangles, and that's me, big chest, small butt, bathing suits that look fantastic on you. Typically, we need a little more support in the top. Halters are amazing. You guys know this. Um, I do tend to wear, I don't wear string bikinis, but it's like a thinner top, a triangle top that actually has a little bit more of hidden support. I love those. Inverted triangles also, you're heavy weighted on top, so we wanna give a little more attention to the bottom. So you can wear bottoms that maybe have a little more drama to them. Maybe they have a ruffle, maybe they have polka dots, maybe they have stripes. Actually, the key if you have a smaller bottom in a rectangle is actually to not go with a really big bottom. Somehow, that actually makes your butt look smaller. So tend to go with just like an average normal size bikini bottom, that works fantastic. It gives just the right amount of proportion for the inverted triangle. But again, the tops that are also fantastic or that's more of a sporty top that kind of goes right across with straps, it looks super classy. It's not too booby, that's a fantastic style for you. So inverted triangles, there's so many that can look good on you. Like I said, just try them on because everybody is actually a different body type within the body type. So for me, an inverted triangle, I don't like a lot of material on the bottom. I feel like it makes my butt look even smaller because it just like engulfs it. So I try to have less material on the bottom and a little more on the top so that I can carry the weight of my chest. Inverted triangles and everyone else, let us know in the comments 
what are your favorite bathing suits for your body type. If you have a brand, I really like L Space. I also really like Vitamin A. This is not sponsored at all, but those are great brands that work for me as an inverted triangle. Oh, I have a couple clients that actually wear Solid and Stripe. I think that's the name, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys like in the comments below. Let's all share. Last but not least, the hourglass. You guys have the body that most of us would really like to have because it can be a little easier to wear bathing suits, clothing, because you are proportionate, you lucky hourglasses, you. But again, I know there are many different types of hourglasses. There are short hourglasses, wide hourglasses, really narrow hourglasses. You can't necessarily put someone in one category. I know I always get a million emails and tags of pictures. I love your pictures. You can Instagram me your pictures, style by Kim XO on Instagram. I will answer you. I will try to tell you what body type you are. Now I'm gonna have a flood, but you can definitely do that. But you hourglasses, so you're curvy, you look great, you're rocking everything, but things want that look good on you. Maybe if you wanna make your waist in a one piece look great, ruching, cut out to show that, deep Vs to show your great chest, high legs to show your legs. You really wanna accentuate your waist, but again, it's gonna be anything that really, really works for you. So so many different types, so many different body types, but I hope that some of these suggestions helped you guys also remember, talk to each other down below and let us all know what your favorite things are. So I hope these tips were useful for you. I will do another video on bathing suit trends if you guys are interested, but trends technically, you wanna really stick with what works for your body type and not really choose a trend. So I'm not like a huge fan of bathing suit trends because you know, it doesn't really matter. You wanna wear what you look fabulous in. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you on the next one.